It's not like putting in your average radiator. These giant heaters were salvaged after the fire, which ripped through the cooling towers at Didcot B power station last year. They've now been refurbished and are being reinstalled. They've tried to save as much as possible here. We have tried to minimise the amount of materials we've had to use, new materials, as much as because there is a cost saving involved for ourselves and eventually for our customers. And also, because, again, it minimises the environmental impact we make with any waste that we produce. This was what the cooling towers looked like after the fire. Four cells were damaged after a cooling fan unit overheated. The station was back to 90% capacity 10 days after the fire and up to full output three weeks later. But since then, changes have been made. Part of the investigation, we looked at the root cause and then we look at a cost-effective method of, of how we put mitigation in place. Some of that uh, mitigation is part operational and some of it is part engineering maintenance. So we reviewed our activities. One radiator back in, just 11 more to go. These repairs are costing millions and it'll be a few more months before the work is complete. But the cooling towers should be fully operational by the end of the year. Charlotte Stacey, BBC South Today.